Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Aris Mini Pendant Large. This is going to be the Rod Hung 187930. There's one smaller than this, you should check that out too. There's also a bunch of Aris's that are cable hung. Check those out on our website if you guys get a chance to do that as well. So, let's get into the size of the fixture to begin with. The body of the fixture is going to be from the bottom of the glass to the top of the metal housing where the sockets are before you get to the stems. And that is going to be 21.6 inches tall, 4.8 inches wide, and that's going to be that kind of square metal hood that's, again, at the top of the fixture body, metal to metal measurement, 4.8. So it's a pretty good sized fixture. Um, you'll notice when you get into the adjustable ranges, we'll talk about in a second, that this starts off at 34.4 inches from the ceiling to the bottom of the fixture. Um, most people are going to be using this with a 9-foot ceiling. You could probably get away with using this with an 8-foot ceiling provided um, that that's going over something that's pretty low, like a kitchen table or, or, or dining table. Or if you guys want to go custom, and we'll get into those little details too to make it even shorter. Because you've got to get it off your counter as much as you can. You know, to a point, at least 30 inches, the bottom of the fixture over the, uh, the kitchen island, we'll, we'll call it that. So when we do get into these adjustable ranges, Hubbardson Forge has a patent on this toll telescoping rod idea, which is going to allow this to be um, adjustable during your installation. And now we're going to be measuring from the bottom of the fixture, which is glass, to the ceiling itself. So the short is 34.4 to 39.6, standard is 39 to 49, Long is 49.3 to 67. Like I said a minute ago, if you guys want this shorter than the short, let's say you have 8-foot ceilings and you want to use this over a kitchen island that's 36 inches tall, just figure out where do you want the bottom of the glass to be. And then once you get that number, just contact me and I can go into our customs database with Hubberton Forge and try to get an answer for you on that. We do customs every day. It adds a little time, adds a little money, non-returnable. But, like I said, it's something that's easy for us to do. It's the beauty of Hubbardson Forge that they can, you know, everything's made to order and they can customize these things for you versus other companies that just can't do that kind of thing. So, uh, like I said, these adjustable ranges, um, there's going to be a hex nut uh, right there in the side of this. It's going to come with a little tiny hex wrench that locks this into place. Once you tighten it, there's a friction sleeve kind of hiding inside of this. I don't know if I can show it to you. Yeah, it's kind of hiding inside of that part of it. And that hex nut is going to press against that plastic friction sleeve, which presses against this pipe, and that locks it into place during your installation. Uh, another oh, a quick thing, leave as much wire up in the canopy as you can possibly get up there, just in case you ever want to bring it down lower in the future. You guys might move and want to take these with you, or you just might want to put these over something that is lower, something to remember. This has a knuckle built at the top of it that makes it slope ceiling adaptable to 45 degrees. So see how this can bend like this? So it's up straight, and then you can see how it's on an angle. And here's your slope. Slope ceiling adaptable to 45 degrees, coming off a 5-inch square ceiling canopy. You know, if you're on our site, on our page for this, go over on the right-hand side of the screen under those pull-down menus and scroll down a little bit. There's a link. It's going to be a hyperlink that says, click here for installations, instructions, PDF. Click on that for me. The cool thing about that is it's going to be all of the paperwork that comes in the box for this and all the drawings and all the parts list. It's going to show you how everything goes together ahead of time. So it just gets you familiar with everything. It shows you this universal mounting kit, and this is going to allow this to go onto your 4-inch J box. This is what you guys should have in your ceiling. If you actually have a gang box, this will be fine too. This is a universal kit. It can go on either of, the, uh, either of these. <clears throat> but this, uh, these installations instructions just give you this window to all the different parts of this piece and how it all goes together. just makes you, you know, more in, in, informed about the fixture. So easy breezy. So uh, after that, why don't we talk about what's inside of this for lamping. Hubbardson calls this a halogen fixture. This was developed before there were a lot of LEDs available for this socket. So now we're going to call this a halogen slash LED fixture. So you'll notice it's a GU10 socket, and that's a picture of it next to me here. And then uh, MR16 is the size of the light bulb. The GU10 part of it are the prongs. So see those two little prongs at the top? And they have like almost little tablets on top. So a GU uh, six, 
uh, GU-10, they're a little closer together. A GU-24, they would have been a little farther apart. This is a GU-10 socket setup. This is an MR-16 light bulb, which is the type of bulb that's a reflector bulb that pushes light out. So what happens is, if you get this in halogen, it's the same deal for the top. It's going to push light down. So you can really do an LED or you can do a halogen. It's really up to you guys. It's a dimmable fixture, so just make sure both bulbs are dimmable. We know halogens are without a problem. Make sure your LED is, and then you can choose the color of it, of the light coming out of that LED. And when you get into the... Um, the halogens on this, you're going to be capped at a 50 watt halogen because the heat generated by that bulb. When you get into LEDs, they really only draw about four or five watts of electricity. It's not about the heat generated, it's about the size of the bulb. And you know it's a MR16 GU10, so we know off the bat that is the size of the bulb. Whatever comes out of that is really up to you. You just have to kind of go on Amazon or 1001 bulbs and just, just do a little searching and you'll be able to find one that kind of fits your needs. Okay. So this is going to be, that light's going to be shining down through either a piece of glass or a mesh screen tube. And almost universally people buy the glass because they happen to love this glass with little air bubbles in it. It's called seated clear. The other option is going to be this mesh tube. The mesh tube is really a, a tube of screen, screening, kind of like screen that goes into a window, but a little better quality, obviously. And that is going to be kind of in this silvery, almost golden color. Um, and it actually has a bit of a moiré pattern that can happen to it as you walk around it, so just something to remember. But the, um, like I said, the glass is something we sell practically every day as far as the seated stuff goes. People absolutely adore it. So, there you go. Um, let's talk about um, finishes. If you're on our website, handmadeinvermont.com, over on the left-hand side of your screen is a finishes help guide. Click on that for me. There's going to be a video at the top of that page. It's me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes, how they can look on different types of forging. And this fixture is going to be, if you scroll down, there's a chart. The chart has pictures with letter A on them, pictures with letter B on them, showing you a range you can expect to see on heavy forging. This fixture, because of the way it's made, is going to be more in line with the pictures with the B for boy. You'll notice it's more uniform, doesn't have all of that scale and slag on it like the pictures with the A do. Um, that's going to be talked about in the video up above. So use the video, come back down, you know, use the chart, go back and forth to you'll pretty much understand all of it. When you're done, go back to that chart. Click on any of those finishes and you'll get a bigger window that pops up and shows you more examples of what you were, what you were looking at. Okay, okay. So, other than that, I think we talked about most of the things we need to talk about. We have this on display on the first floor of our showroom with the seated glass, of course, and an LED in there. Our showroom has over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We have a What's On Display page. It's over on the left-hand side of your screen, so you'll be able to see what we have here before you guys ever come. We also have a clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It is showroom samples, discontinued things, and returns. Awesome deal. You have to come here to use it. Bring your ceiling heights. It's really important. Measure with a real measuring tape. You know, don't guess. You really want to use one of these and, and get an accurate measurement of what you guys are doing before you come in. It's going to be my first question to you. Um, um, in addition to that, so let's talk about ordering. Uh, when you order from handmadeinvermont.com, sh shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if you ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. Some bigger items, generally big giant things on pallets, do not come back. We'll always tell you about that ahead of time. And we offer a rush program. Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to get product out because you have all of these variables that can change. So everything is made to order. They don't stock anything. We can cut that time in half, and it's very inexpensive. It's, it's per line item. So if you have like one, two, three of something, the more you have, the more that price for a rush drops down. It's, it's cheap to begin with, and it comes super cheap once you have items that are the same thing. So the same pendant, and you just happen to have two or three of exactly the same thing. Just contact me for that. So it's um, easy to do. So uh, you can do that by emailing us at sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. Or you can call at 802-446-2400, and I'm here every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. Our showroom's open every day except Sunday as well from um, yeah, 11 to 6, and I'm here 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern time to call. So there you go. Uh, any questions, let me know, and thanks for stopping in today.
We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.